And welcome back to uh, We Are Austin, our South by Southwest special from global blockbusters to impactful documentaries. The stars were big and bright on the red carpet at South by. That's right. Red carpet interviews are especially magical because we actually get to chat with the actors and creatives usually just moments before they're going into the theater to share their film with an audience for the first time ever. Take a look at some of our favorite red carpet moments from South by Southwest 2023. We are back on the red carpet for South by Southwest 2023. Their opening night is usually a huge film, a world premiere, and this year is no different. This year, it's Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. The entire cast and creative team are here on the red carpet to talk a little bit more about this film that they've made for a very devoted following. You got this, right? I know you don't. The global game phenomenon finally gets the Hollywood treatment it deserves and the A-list cast to go with it. Chris Pine, Michelle Rodriguez, Reggae Jean Page, Justice Smith, Sophia Lillis, and Daisy Head hit the red carpet ready to share this epic movie with the world. I think we managed to make a film that's, that's my favorite kind of film that's straight down the middle, populist, a good time, it's got a good heart, it's got a good message, it's got fun explosions it's it's just it's a good time in the movie theater it's boundless fun it genuinely is i got to swing a sword around and wear a cape and fight dragons like i don't know what else little 10 year old me could have asked for in life and here i am right here and i get to talk about it and folks are smiling folks are going into the theater to watch it i absolutely loved it i i love this world and just being you know able to like be almost like being like larping i get to turn into animals and it's like so fantastical and wonderful and uh, it's stuff that i really enjoy doing storytelling is this oldest humanity, you know, and I, I just feel like it's such a primal thing that we all engage in, like the, the receptiveness of being entertained. Directors Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly knew the stakes were high with this fan favorite, and they're confident it's a crowd pleaser. We were really trying to kind of manage expectations on both sides and make sure that we were giving the fans something that they wanted, your husband something that he wants, but also people who have absolutely no awareness of it, some, a, a great time. We love this crowd. There's nobody that responds better to uh, the pure enjoyment of a fun movie, and I think this movie's gonna be hopefully right up their alley. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves hits theaters March 31st. Texas native Eva Longoria makes her directorial feature debut with Flamin' Hot. This is the true story of a Frito-Lay janitor who dreamed up the idea for Flamin' Hot Cheetos. When they told me we're premiering at South by Southwest in my home state, I was like, do you have 120 tickets? Because my <laughs> that's just my immediate family right, in Texas. Yeah. It's a beautiful story about the Mexican-American community. So the fact that there's so many Mexican-Americans here in the state, I think they're going to enjoy it. Everybody's going to enjoy it. This was never the goal to make a movie. You just, you know, normal people don't think about, I want to make a movie about my life, you know, so, and we're normal people, and then here we are, like, just so incredible. I think it's inspiring to see somebody who, against all odds, stuck to their dream and made it happen. These people are beautiful. They have this faith and this heart and this dedication to who they are as a family, and, like, how can I capture that? And it was something that I, like, really held on to while I was writing the film. Catch Flamin' Hot June 9th on Hulu. Oscar winner Tilda Swinton hit the red carpet for the premiere of her new film, Problemista. I want them to feel the embrace of this film that's all about company and all about reaching out. And uh, yeah, I think this film is good for people and I'm all for films that are good for people. This comedy finds an aspiring designer racing to find work before his green card expires. His last chance is a gig with an eccentric, demanding art critic. Julio Torres not only co-stars in this razor-sharp comedy, but the multi-talent also wrote and directed the film. My favorite kind of uh, art is when someone pinpoints something that they have felt but haven't seen. I hope this accomplishes some of that. I, feel, I hope that people feel seen by the movie. Problemista hits theaters later this year. One of the most beautiful things about the South by Southwest Film and TV Festival is you can have huge, big blockbuster popcorn films and local homegrown Texas projects like The Long Game. Set in 1957, The Long Game tells the true story of the Del Rio, Texas Mustangs golf team who defied the odds to face their rivals on the links. They were caddies at a country club where they couldn't play and they started their own golf team uh, in high school 
and they wound up winning the Texas State Championship at the very country club where they couldn't play. It's great because uh, me and Dennis did uh, the rookie together. So many years, and he was my coach in the film. And now I'm the coach, and he's my, it's just like this full circle moment. Austin filmmaker Julio Quintana directed this inspiring story. I've been here in Austin since 2000. I grew up in Houston, and uh, so obviously for us, like South by is just, a, it's a staple of my existence here. It's the, it seems like the, the perfect venue for a Texas story, but Texas filmmakers with a lot of Texas actors, and so it's just great. The long game hits theaters later this year. Mom? Mommy's with the maggots now. <laughs> South by Southwest also served up plenty of fun for horror fans. But I feel like horror, more than any other genre, brings people together. The Evil Dead franchise returns with Evil Dead Rise. Austin is a, it's an entertainment lover's city. It, they love music, they love movies. It's a good place for it. We're very happy to be here. Catch Evil Dead Rise in theaters April 21st. It's the perfect game. Tetris. Tetris tells the unbelievable origin story of the global video game hit. I thought it was a great story. It was, you know, not something I was aware of. I thought it was a great script, very compelling, and um, yeah, I, I had a good time reading it and thought it'd make a good movie. Tetris streams on Apple TV Plus on March 31st. The small screen also saw several premieres here at South by Southwest, including TV shows like Rabbit Hole, starring Keeper Sutherland. You know, so I think they've managed to create something that is dynamic and thrilling in keeping with the genre, but have layered it in with romance and, and, and humor. It's not a chill viewing experience. You've got to, like, watch because there's so many twists and turns. Rabbit Hole streams March 26th on Paramount+. Plus. The dark and true Texas story of accused murderer Candy Montgomery comes to life in the new HBO Max series Love and Death, starring Elizabeth Olsen and Jesse Plemons. And shot all right here in Texas, the series had its South by Southwest world premiere right here at the Paramount Theater. The Love and Death cast says that a little dark humor helped them tell the true story of this love triangle and murder that shocked a small Texas town. Would you be interested in having an affair? It's such an unbelievable story, but it was I, I was really happy to tell it with this group of people and to play and to play Betty. I, I wanted to take the best possible care of her that I could. I fell in love with the character. I fell in love with the way David E. Kelly told the story and wrote it tonally, and so it made for fun character building and hopefully fun storytelling. And that any of the humor, you know, none of it's making fun right. of them comes from these, these characters, you know, and that's my favorite type of humor anyway. Love and Death streams on HBO Max April 27th. Oh my gosh, how much fun is that? It's oh just incredible. incredible. So many great stars, so many people thrilled with the work that they're putting out there and finally getting to see, uh, to show it to the world. The red carpets, there's nothing like it. And nothing Austin is like the center it. of the universe for just a little while. It really <laughs> is. And so many movies to look forward to yes. in TV shows. Oh, I can't I'm wait. So excited. <laughs>